Google Alerts is a hugely powerful um, free sort of tool that um, Google have out there. They still call it beta, um, but it's been around for absolutely donkey's years in the world of the web. Um, you might already use it um, in, in a simple way, just to keep track of people who mention your name. But there's actually some really quite clever um, and really quite interesting things you can do using it. So, <clears throat> I'll start off by showing you the, the standard implementation. And if you're not already doing this, you really should. So, if you go to google.com forward slash alerts, it gives you this nice little box here. So you've got your search term. So your typical one would be to put in your own name to see whenever anyone's mentioning you. You then get a variety of drop down boxes. So the first one allows you to restrict it to certain verticals of Google search index. So news is just those on news websites. Blogs is of course blogs as you would expect. Video is YouTube, but also other videos that they're picking up and indexing. And then discussions is around forums, Twitter, that kind of thing. That's what they bolt together there. So in most cases, you normally want everything, unless you're specifically trying to just look at certain topics. You've then got your frequency. Um, as it happens, um, would send you an email or RSS alert as soon as Google find it in the index. Um, if you're going down the email route, that can end up, particularly if you're putting in quite a high volume search phrase, um, to be a bit overwhelming on your inbox. So what I tend to recommend is going for the once a day option. So you get updated fairly quickly, um, but not too often as well. But if you are kind of one of these people who are trying to go down the inbox zero route and don't want to be overwhelmed with email, maybe once a week would be sufficient on that option as well. There. Um, also, you can limit the number um, of results. So if you put in a keyword like SEO, um, every day you, you get thousands and thousands of results. So Google will only let you see 20 or 50 results there as well. If you're typing in the type of alert that would get more than that number of results, I would question whether um, Google Alerts is the right tool to be using. If you're trying to monitor something that's really high volume, you maybe want to use something a little bit more sophisticated, like a buzz monitoring tool of some shape or form. And you then have the option of how you would like it to be delivered. I've direct to your email address or to a feed. Um, in most cases, you want to go for email, but there will be some of the options I'll show you when I'm showing you some bit more exciting ways of using this that um, you can use for the feeds. So that's your straightforward way. Um, you could put in your company name, you could put in your personal name, you could put in a topic you want to find out about that's not too popular. Um, but another one that was um, brought to my attention by a chap called Patrick Altoff of Blogstorm is you can use Google Alerts um, to find out if you've been hacked. Now, what this is essentially doing is searching the Google index. So a lot of the search um, modifiers you can use in Google will also work in Google Alerts. So um, what I suggest here is you would go site colon, um, put in your web address, so premium.com. Okay, and you put in site colon, so that is restricting the index to just those from your website, um, and then put in some keywords. So you, you can put in multiple keywords. So what I'm going to put in here is Viagra. Um, if you then type in OR in capital letters, that separates this as a list. So it would say, um, you know, so let's put in... Um, webcam is another one that comes up quite a lot as well so what this would say is send me an email Google whenever on my website you find the word Viagra or webcam and you can put in a whole series of words here that you think um, separating each of them with an or um, the word OR in capital letters and each time one of those um, would go in Google would send you alerts so this can be a great way of picking up quickly if your website's been hacked unfortunately by going down this route, if Google is sending you an alert, they've already indexed that page, which might mean you might already be suffering the penalties you would get, but at least you'll be able to spot it um, sooner rather than later. So that's a quick way to find out if you've been hacked. Using a similar approach, you can also see who's linking to you. So if you type in link colon and then your web address,
that would then show me whenever Google find in their index a link pointing to their site. At this point, it's worth mentioning if you if you've ever used link colon on your website just as a normal search, you'll know that the, re the results that appear there aren't as comprehensive as some other tools like Open Site Explorer or Yahoo Site Explorer or any of the other ones there. So this isn't the most reliable way of finding out if new people are linking to you, um, but it's a pretty good automatic way that will update itself so you don't have to worry about that. So you can do that just by typing link colon and a web address. It doesn't have to be yours as well. So it could potentially be um, a competitor. So you can see what links a competitor are getting to see if that can inspire you to do better link building. <clears throat> And going back to the site colon as well, you can put in site colon, then your URL, and leave it blank. None of the keywords like Viagra or webcams that we were putting in the other one, just leave that blank. And what that would do is Google would email you whenever they index a new page of your site. Now, if you're having trouble getting your pages indexed or just want to know how quickly the content's going in, um, this can be a great way of finding out what pages of your site don't have the right structure so Google can't find them. Or similarly, you can use this for um, alerts on, maybe if you're a blogger and you want to find out as soon as there's a press release from a certain company, you could put site code on their web address forward slash PR or wherever they host their press releases and get an alert whenever a new page is indexed in that area of the site there. So that's really quite powerful there as well to find out when new pages are being indexed. Now the next one uses RSS, but one of the complaints that people have when using Twitter is that they find it quite difficult to know and find content to share with their audience. They feel it's difficult to kind of constantly be producing that content. And there's a variety of ways you can automatically upload content to your Twitter account. Some can work quite well and we've discussed them in past. But Google Alerts can sometimes give you the kind of information that might go well down on your tweets. So what I'm suggesting here is a slightly more um, next step on, as it were. So, if I go, um, say my keyword is internet marketing. Fact, let's go for something else. Multi variance testing. Right, so I'm looking for where people are talking about trying two different versions of a web page to see which one works the best. I'm going to have that as everything as the type, as it happens as the often, and I'm going to try and set to 50 results. And then rather than get that sent to my email, I'm going to get it sent as a feed. Okay, I'm going to hit create alert here. And this will then show me some of the alerts I've got set up. I can click on the feed here. And this is an RSS feed, okay? Now, whenever Google finds something that has that multivariate testing in it, it will appear in this feed. Now, we could feed that straight into Twitter, but that wouldn't really have a very high quality control because everything that Google picks up as an alert there um, would go straight through. So I wouldn't go down that route there. What I would do is take this RSS feed pop it into Google Reader, and then you can check through that as the feed comes through. And then each item that you want to use, you can either hit the share or the star button in Google Reader, and then create, you can get an external feed of those results. And then you can take that and put that into Twitter feed. which would take that content there. So what you're doing is you get your Google Alert, it comes to you in Google Reader, you filter those that you think your audience would be interested in, hit share as an option in Google Reader, and then Twitter feed will automatically sync that to your Twitter account. So the content will be going up there, auto well, not automatically, but in a very, you know, not very labor intensive way of doing things. Now, if you're using Twitter, you can't just have these automated tools, but it can be a great way to kind of bulk out and fill out your content that will appeal to your audience. So here's um, five ways you can use Google Alerts in clever ways. You can use it to monitor if people are talking about you online. You can use it to see if you've been hacked. Um, you can use it to find out who's linking to you. You can use it to find when certain pages on certain websites are being indexed. So i.e. when's a new page in your site been finding its way into the index. And finally, you can use it to automatically seed content to your Twitter account.